All right. Uh, buongiorno, Silvia. <laughs> buongiorno, Mikhail. Let's open up the calibration folder. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. Here. Great. Now the calibration stopped, but we have closed the terminal that showed the results. But this yeah. <laughs> allows us to show something. Sorry. No, it's totally fine. Let's double click run single calibration again. So if the calibration ever stops, the computer disconnects. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if the computer ever stops, we want to run the calibration. Uh, rather than starting at the beginning, we can just run the calibration script again. It'll start off where it last ended. So here, the calibration finished at sixth generation. And what it's showing this message is, is it tries to create a new folder to rerun the best model parameter set. But since it already did it, it's saying that this folder exists. All to say that this, we see here the results of the last generation, generation six. Mm -hmm. What we'll do today is run a longer calibration. We will start off with the best parameter set that we found from this shorter calibration. Okay. And we'll do one more thing to make the model run a little bit faster. Can we find the settings file that ran the best version of the model. So if we go into this runs underscore calibration zero seven underscore best. Okay. And we scroll all the way to seven best. Let's open up this folder. This is automatically the best one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it ran at the end of the calibration. What I want to do is I want to create two outputs they will then use as inputs when we're running the calibration. Something that takes some time every day in the model is to calculate potential or reference of apotranspiration. Using all the climate variables, it calculates with the Pem and Monteith method, the mm -hmm. reference of apotranspiration. But we can also, to save the model running this every single time, simply create an input of this, so the model can just read this and runs a little bit faster. If we open up the settings file and scroll all the way to the bottom, let us create two new outputs. So let's out underscore map underscore daily. This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, come perfect. And you can leave discharge in there, it's fine. But we'll add two more outputs. Uh, the first one is ETREF. So that's capital E, capital T, capital R, EF. Um, and then, sorry, instead of the capital F, it's a lowercase e, lowercase f. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. and, then, mm -hmm. and then we'll do one more, uh, EWREF. So capital E, capital W, capital R. Capital E, capital? Uh, w. Capital R. And then EF. I believe these are right. If they're not, we'll get a message shortly. So ET stands for evapotranspiration, and EW, what stands for? Is the reference about transpiration over uh, water surfaces. So okay. when there's no soil, just when there's uh, exposed water. Since this was one of the calibration settings files, we have to change the output folder that is somehow overwritten in the calibration section. Let's scroll up to the calibration section of the settings file. Mm. And somewhat lower. Lower. Yeah. Right around here. So. We want to keep the out underscore directory. That's great. Let's just 
Yeah, we can leave this line as it is, but let's comment out the next two lines. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So we can just put the number sign in front of this line and the next line. So it'll create outputs still in this folder we're in right now, but it'll create the outputs we put at the bottom of the settings file. Ah, uh, not over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One more thing I want to do. Scroll up slightly. Perfect. So we need to create this ET ref and this EW ref for all the dates the model's going to run, including. So right now we're running the model for a two year spin up period and then 10 years where it's producing outputs to compare discharge. Yes. Right now, let's keep the step start as the first of 1998, but let's turn spin up into none. Capital N O N E. So then we'll have ET ref and EW ref for this whole 12 year period. Yes. What we're going to do then later is make this ET ref and EW ref inputs for all the model runs. So they'll run a little bit faster because they don't have to calculate this every day. Okay, I think that's what I want to do. Let's save this. Um, overwriting the one in the yep. folder? It's fine. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> and close this and let's run this settings file. Actually, I think if you just double click this batch file exactly, it will open it. Sorry. This one tight. Oh, good. What happened? Uh, yeah, it, it closed automatically. Yes. We didn't get to see the message. Could mm -hmm. you open up oh. that batch file? So right click and then click. I mean this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you see, this is, you see this familiar thing. So it says call, so it says work on Sylvia, activating your virtual environment, and then Python, the location of see what I'm on your computer, and then the name of the settings file. Yeah. It's Can calling you add the... A... Yeah. Could you add the a third name. line? Just the word pause. P-A-U-S-E. Yeah, this should stop the terminal from automatically closing when it gets... And we can see the message that it's giving. So you can save this. And then, perfect. And double click. Oh, okay. Output. Would you open up the settings file? Yeah, I, th I think the trouble is relating to this output folder. Could we go to the calibration section again? Yeah, can you pull this out underscore directory? Can you copy this line? You can actually remove this line from here, the the whole line, even the out underscore dear. Yeah, what do you mean remove? Just it, like cut it? it, and then let's take it to the bottom. Here you mean, or at the bottom completely? The very, the the very bottom. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and actually, so here was the thing. The, um, yeah, it was looking for an output directory, but it didn't find it. Can we put that out underscore dear actually above? Actually, this should be this should be fine. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, let's save this and then try to run it again.
Okay. Oh, yeah. Great. Good. That's running. Now, while this is running, let's go look at how the other calibration performed, the short calibration. Let's go back. Perfect. Let's go to calibration, one folder up. And can you double click to run plot calibration? Super. It's the message of success. We can close out of this and then let's go to figures, the folder. And this was just created perfect. Let's open the first one. Okay. Uh, oh, look at this. Ooh, nice. Wait. Okay, so we noticed something. What do you notice? This one. <laughs> Right, six out. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like in the observed data, maybe all 2000 and 2010 is messed up somehow. Either it's all no value or something went wrong there. Yeah, it could be also missing value. Let's go look at the observed data. Oops. I guess it's the year 2009. Ah, oh, yes, right. 2010 was fine. Oh. Okay, yeah. we, could, we could simply delete all of this. Like, uh, just leave them as blank. Because this negative 999 means no value, I assume. NA, yes. Mm hmm Okay. Just blank is fine. Yep, blank is fine. Okay. Cool, we can save this. Okay, what what else do you notice in the in the PDF that we created? Uh well the rest looks fine. Looks cool, quite right? um it's the two lies are in agreement with each other. Yeah, we're, we're missing some. The of simulated these. data looks a bit more extreme. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. the lower peaks are lower, and the higher one goes. Yeah, a bit more extreme. You're right. Yeah. We'll see, again. It was a short calibration. We use this to start the next one, but we'll see. We'll see how this changes after the long calibration. How this how the performance shifts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we check the status of the simulation? Let me maybe close the ones. Ah, here. Okay. While it's finished running, let's prepare the new calibration. Mm -hmm. So we could go to settings underscore calibration dot txt. Right, sorry, let's go into let's go into templates actually. Templates underscore see what in. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's open this. And one moment. Let me look in my settings file for actually one. moment okay at the top of the settings file go back to the screen yeah, it says calc underscore evaporation. 
Can you set that equal to false? Okay. Because we use the pre-calculated one. Mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. Let us go to, can you, you can just search for calc, uh, actually just scroll down to the Meteo section. Meteor? Maybe a little bit above, maybe just past it. Yeah, right here. It's not cold. Okay, perfect. See, at the very top you see, this is used <laughs> if calc underscore evaporation equals false. So we will point these next few, just a few lines down. Yeah, right here. So we will point the EW ref map where it says E0 maps. Mm -hmm. But we have to wait till they're finished. So that's something we'll update just in a moment. Okay. Actually, I guess we could already point it to the folder where it's being created. It'll be called... Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the seven best. Yeah, perfect. This one? Yes. We can, we can copy this folder and then the naming is somehow already in there. So yeah, starting at the dollar sign, you can just replace the whole thing with the full path. But in parentheses or? N not even, you can remove the dollar sign. We'll just put the name of the whole path. Oh. Yeah. And then just be sure to uncomment this line. Mm -hmm. the, and the, the EVREF daily? Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, but, um... The, the direction of the yeah, slash right? is probably fine. <laughs> ah, it's fine? Oh, yeah, okay. it's fine. So and I comment this perfect. and I comment the one above or yep. not? Yep. Okay, and then the same thing for ETREF. Okay. And that's all we wanted to change. Now let's go into the settings. We can save this. And let's go into the settings underscore calibration dot txt. So we can close this. And the, yeah, the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to, where it says sub catchment path equals runs underscore calibration. In the section path, oh, uh, sorry. right here. Can you make it runs underscore calibration two? So we don't overwrite what we had before. And we'll create a new folder that's called run underscore calibration two. Mm -hmm. And now we'll go back into that settings file and we'll just make everything a little bit longer or more generations and more children per generation. Okay. Which is here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So. So we could try something like, like 12 generations. We could try an initial population of, I mean, maybe a, Maybe why not 128? We can just let this run until we 
So we come back to it. Okay. And how about this is 32? Okay. So last thing we want to do is take the best parameter set that we have from the best run of the calibration and plug it in here. Yes. So let's go into that seven best. Uh, from he here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have, so we'll, we'll replace these values with what we have from. Mm -hmm. This one? Is this no, one? The, no. <laughs> the settings file. Yeah. Ah, yes, of course. Oh, sorry, yeah, just in the calibration section above. Yeah, just around here. Okay, so maybe we can put this to half the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. No, I, we just want to confirm that the order is, is good. So we have this crop correct. So the first one is this 1.39. Yes. Copy this. Uh, so these are all these um, values in the same order inside here. Let's see. Ah, right crop, we, ah yes, sorry, right. now I see it. It's, it's okay. a little bit clumsy. We'll, we'll put this eventually into the Excel file with the parameter ranges, but right now it looks like no, this. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Mm. And I, it need not be so perfect, like the 1.394. It could just also be 1.39. We just sort of want to put it close to where it was before. Mm hmm then yeah this is perfect and the preferential flow yeah great Beta. Um, mm -hmm. which is, is this one? 9.28? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, then one last one, the normal storage limit. Okay, hey, awesome. And number of, uh, oh, yes, one, save for us. <laughs> okay. Cool, we can save this. And let's check the status of the last model run and see if that ET ref, EW ref are finished. Okay, looks like it. Okay, I think we can now just run uh, 1A in the calibrations folder. I think we got everything, yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, like last time, no message is a good message. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so, so we um we come back when it's ready. Yes. Okay. It will take a while. <laughs> It'll take a while. Okay. Um <laughs> Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, Sophia. Till next time. Yes. Bye. Ciao. Hi. <laughs> Guten Tag, Good Sylvia. Morning. Guten Morgen. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Fine, thank you. 
let's visit the long calibration that we started and maybe finished last time. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's do it. No, wait. It's usually in two also okay. to remember. So I think, <laughs> I think or maybe we'll see what I'm in two places on your computer now. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Ah, here. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's it's double click one A, and we'll see what happens. Enter. Or no, yes, okay. Cool, yeah, this is the 12 generations. Okay, so this looks like um, we, we ran the calibration one more time mm -hmm. to see if it ran last time. And what it's trying to do now is run the best parameter set, but it's saying this mm -hmm. folder already exists because it ran this last time. This is just to confirm that it ran correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now let's run number two and see what happens, double click. Okay, cool. Press any key to get out of here. And let's go into figures, the top folder. That was just created. Yeah, let's look at this one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. The KG is 0 0.76. 